Dive into the untold story of a friendship that changed American history. Discover how the powerful bond between JFK and Frank Sinatra ignited a presidential campaign and captivated the nation. The politician and the artist shared a strong yet short-lived bond that aided JFK in his journey to the White House. One was on the path to the White House, while the other reigned supreme in Hollywood. It was a match made in heaven. In early February 1960, Senator John F. Kennedy from Massachusetts, a presidential candidate, stayed at the Sands Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas to witness one of the legendary performances by Frank Sinatra and the Rat Pack. During the show, Sinatra stepped forward, pointed to Kennedy seated near the stage, and introduced him as the next president of the United States. This public intersection of politics and entertainment was uncommon at the time, underscoring a bond between these two luminaries that reached its peak during a wild campaign season. The singer and the candidate had been friends for several years. The exact moment of their acquaintance remains unclear, but they shared a connection through JFK's sister, Pat, who was married to actor and rat packer Peter Lawford. By the late 1950s, they were well acquainted. Sinatra leveraged his star power to assist JFK in winning votes. The Sinatra-Kennedy duo was, in part, a coalition of shared interests. Given Sinatra's influence as a successful artist and top-tier movie star, the campaign saw him as the perfect person to enlist other high-profile artists to spread the word and open their wallets in support of the rising politician. Furthermore, Kennedy's patriarch, Joseph, allegedly wanted Sinatra to utilize his connections to organize crime to influence union votes, dangling a potential administrative position as motivation. However, there was also a mutual admiration between the two. Sinatra embodied the Hollywood glamour, and with the rest of the Rat Pack, mainly comprised of singers and actors Dean Martin and Sammy Davis Jr., comedian Joey Bishop and Lawford. They projected an image of sophisticated urbanites who leveraged their talents and exuded a sense of suave nonconformity. On the other hand, Kennedy symbolized significant power, a link to the halls of Congress and the kingmakers who helped shape the nation's leadership. Each discovered that the other led an enviable life, akin to the belief that the grass is always greener on the other side. Both had an appetite for parties and women. They crossed paths due to a shared penchant for nightlife and women, with Sinatra more than happy to indulge his friend's desires. Las Vegas's after-parties were overflowing with drinks and female admirers, as were the festivities held at Lawford's Santa Monica residence when the campaign made its way through California. It was Sinatra who introduced Kennedy to Marilyn Monroe and a lesser-known mistress named Judith Campbell whose mob connections later complicated matters. Beyond the party scene, Sinatra immersed himself in vital campaign work, arranging donor dinners, appearing in radio ads, and lending his private jet to Kennedy's associates. During performances, he showcased a revamped version of his hit High Hopes, which became the campaign's anthem. Kennedy emerged victorious, naturally, culminating in Old Blue Eyes' final contribution to the cause, a pre-inaugural gala at the National Guard Armory in Washington, D.C., featuring showbiz stars like Gene Kelly, Nat King Cole, Milton Berle, and Ella Fitzgerald. Sinatra alternated between performing on stage and watching from Kennedy's box, and the president-elect later took to the stage to express his deep gratitude for Sinatra's efforts. Dive into the untold story of a friendship that changed American history. Discover how the powerful bond between JFK and Frank Sinatra ignited a presidential campaign and captivated the nation. Although the friendship between Frank Sinatra and John F. Kennedy ended abruptly, the story of their connection serves as a vivid reminder of how the worlds of entertainment and politics can intertwine in unexpected and complicated ways. More than a mere alliance of convenience, this relationship revealed the aspirations, vulnerabilities, and ultimately the limits of two figures who left indelible marks on American culture. While Sinatra continued to be an influential figure in entertainment and public life, Kennedy became a lasting icon of hope and progress, despite his premature tragedy. Their youthful vigor, ambitions, and flaws 
cemented a historical period filled with glamour, power, and controversies. Ultimately, the friendship between Sinatra and Kennedy illustrates how human interactions are often complex and multifaceted, marked by both triumphs and disappointments. Their story not only evokes a specific era of American history, but also serves as a tribute to the nuances that define personal relationships, whether they are public or private. If you enjoyed this incredible story about JFK and Frank Sinatra, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating content. Hit the bell icon to get notifications for our upcoming videos. Join our community and explore the most intriguing secrets of history.